Hello, it's the flea market falcon here. What I do is I soar high above the swap meet and then I'm swooping in to scoop up the deals. Hello, you got some Nintendo games here? Yes, we do. Some classic old original ones. Nice, how much are those? Uh, we're asking, they're, we're valuing them at 3400 but if you do them all as a set, it's $1,550. Fifteen hundred dollars for the set? Yes, sir. Fifteen fifty. Fifteen fifty. Ooh, crazy pricing there. That lot is really worth about a hundred dollars. Over here we have the classic Craven's Last Hunt Spider-Man storyline trade paperback. We have a Halloween 4K. Would you do three on this one? Yeah. How about that movie? Um, Would you do a buck on that one? Three bucks. Okay, I'll just grab this one. There he is. Nice. What's up? How much are you charging today? Uh, okay, so it's a little different. I got a $20 table. Most of this stuff is 10 and then over here is 5 Oh, okay. Got a Star Wars trilogy. They look sealed. Are they sealed? We'll find out here. Oh, no, they're opened. He's also got a blue dragon, which is a pretty good deal for $10, kind of straddles the line on if it's worth buying for resale. And the Star Wars trilogy isn't really worth me buying for 10 bucks. Sorry to be a pain in the rear end. Would you do 10 for the two? I can do 15 for the two. Okay, uh, sorry to be a pain. Would any chance you would do eight on this one? I could do that. Okay, cool. Got some $1 CDs here. A Dennis Wilson one, it has water damage. Not gonna grab that. Rubber sole, don't need it, but that's a good deal. Definitely gonna grab this one. This is known as an SA CD, a super audio CD, and these can be worth big money. We've got like a Cosmos Factory Credence Clear Water. No barcode, so this is the first release. Isley Brothers box set and a British Invasion one right here. Wow. And over here we have a GameCube that doesn't look like it would work. It's super dirty. It's only $10 though. It doesn't close. And then I've never seen this before. They have burned discs. Skies of Arcadia. That's a super rare game. Obviously it's not rare. It's a burnt copy. But I'm not sure that the GameCube even plays burned discs. I don't know what's going on here. So just ask. They want $10 a game. So I'm definitely not doing that. But I will buy the $10 GameCube. Even though it's probably broken. It does have the Game Boy Player. Uh, that alone is worth quite a bit. So great score there, swooping in to scoop up the deals. So I don't know much about these Super CDs. I guess it's just a more clear form of audio and you need a special player, but you can also play it without that special player. I've run into these before and always do good selling these. And even though the Game Boy Player doesn't have the boot up disc, uh, that's still very hard to find. So I can switch from human to falcon at will at any time. And the way I'm able to do this is the all-in-one Master Tonic. It makes all your dreams come true. I drank this and now I can become a falcon. And okay, I... okay, so that's a good thing. Yeah. You like it? I love it. Okay. You keep to uh, buy the next bottle? Uh, how much are they again? Because Starting from 25 to 85. So I still have a lot of juice okay. left from the okay. first bottle I bought. Okay. Come back whenever you're ready, you know? When I need more falcon powers. Okay. Thank you. you have a good day. Found this CD right here. Sometimes these regional radio DJ CDs have value. This is about a $20 one. So grabbed a bunch of comics from this guy, a whole stack of Star Trek trade paperbacks for 10 bucks. These Swamp Thing trade paperbacks for 10 bucks and a whole mess of Ripley Believe It or Nots for 50 cents an issue. Now here at the Punk Rock Flea Market. They got some pretty cool stuff. It's all curated booths here, so not gonna find any huge bargains or anything, but fun to look around. Pretty pictures, stickers, t-shirts, records. Hey man, I saw you on the internet. You, you were in Roscoe Soul Train's, uh, uh, Ross. yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Cool. Nice to see you. Have a good day. Yeah.
now we're here at the Silver Moon Drive-In. Wow. Over here we have Dr. Cat's complete series. This is super hard to find. Hello, how much on this right here? Ten? Ten bucks, fantastic deal right there. Over here we have DVD box sets and this is the whole series of Jag. They're three dollars each or two for five. Right. Hello, you got 10 here. Would you do 20 bucks? No, I'll see. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. An anime I've never heard of before. XXXholic, I guess. Hello, how much on the DVD? Two dollars. Two dollars? All right. Two bazungas. I'm not even sure how this is pronounced. Is it XXXHolic or XHolic or just Holic? Let's go! <laughs> Get this stuff sold! And you know my wife. You know her. Me? Yes, you do. I know your wife? Yes, you do very well. Who's your wife? She played in The Exorcist. She was the one in the bed. <laughs> oh you know, she turned her head around a couple of times. Spewed out some green pea soup. Oh wow! Yeah. How was I supposed to do? No, she was going to do that yeah, for I was a pastor. Thinking I might actually know that's fine. Next, let's go. Let's, do this. let's get this stuff sold. I ain't got all day. I got to get home. I'm married. Dollar here, fifty cents here. Do they work? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Either they do or they don't. <laughs> they work. They work. Yeah. Blow on it. See if it gets hotter. There it goes. Dollar. Dollar for both. Dollar. Ooh, a satanic license plate, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Next. Let's go. Get this stuff sold. It will not be loaded up. There's got to be something you need. 50 cents. Nice. You got two quarters. Uh, I don't, but... Uh... Now you got a dollar. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. See how easy that. that was? Yeah. Because the team changed the name, I'm assuming that these have somewhat of a collector's value. They got these platform shoes for people who want to wear Crocs, but they just weren't uncomfortable enough. I grabbed this for a buck, only because it's still brand new and sealed. Found this CD right here, Godspeed You Black Emperor. This name always confuses me. You think this would be a metal band, but it's more like indie rock, I guess. Over here we have a bunch of DVDs, a bunch of Hara, and the guy working said I could take all the Hara ones for $20, so great deal there. There's a ton of Hara movies though. Some have scratches, so I'm only going to take the ones that are in good condition. I'm going to leave the scratch ones behind. There's not much I can really do with those. There's these Ghost Host ones and these After Dark ones, and I do often wonder if they're any good or not. I've seen some, and some are halfway decent. Got all these right here. These top two rows are ones I've already seen before. I've never seen Wrong Turn 2, so look forward to watching that one. Look forward to Alien from LA. Some of these other ones look pretty cheesy, so if you've seen any of these and you know they're bad or if you know they're good, let me know. The Bear Winch Project. I'm sure that's horrible. Oh, nice. I looked this one up. It sells on average for about $25, so. This right here pays for the lot. We got Piranha, not the Piranha from 1978. This is from 1972. Don't really know what to make of that one. Mega Piranha. More here. Fright Night 2, I'll watch that one for sure. A lot of these I'll probably just lot up and sell and not uh, even watch. I've been meaning to see that one, The Cave, and this one, The Watcher. Oh yeah. Not bad for $20. So unfortunately, this video is about to wrap up pretty soon. But if you could like and subscribe, that would help me out a lot. Also, maybe share the video with a friend. I have a Patreon. You can check that out. The link is down below in the description. And I'll see you soon. I'm going to leave you with some bonus footage. Okay, bye. Hi, you black shorts for me today. Oh, yeah, just for you. I usually, I, I usually wear khaki, which is my least favorite color. Yeah, but black is your favorite color? Yeah, I would say so. 
I really don't have much favorites, but okay. But it's it, you know, being out here in the heat, it's it, it, it's the heat gets to be so bad. I haven't worn shorts in nine years. I'm thinking about wearing shorts. I even got a pair at Walmart. And I'm thinking about getting definitely not like those. They're really lightweight. They're mesh. Okay. Like and, basketball uh, shorts. Yeah, but they're not guy capris like yours. They only go down to about the knees. Okay. Do you have a favorite board game? Nah, I don't play board games anymore. No. You know why they're called board games? Because you're bored when That's you play. That's right. Them. Right. Yeah. You actually guessed my joke. Nobody does that. Yeah.